हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू रिलीज अ व्हिडिओ सिरीज अबाउट फाईल हँडलिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन आय एम गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट फाईल हँडलिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू आर टॉपिक आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू subscribe my channel tech talks keep the bell ringing because ringing bell will give you the notification about new channels new videos now let's start with the file handling what is file handling before that we'll go for what is file so files are nothing but the storage where we can store our data permanently and a file handling is nothing but a mechanism which is used to perform different operations on it so with the help of file handling we can perform different operations on a file with the help of streams so what are the streams so streams are nothing but the abstraction which are used to perform the input and output operations they the streams are used to perform different input and output operations that i am going to explain you in detail in this particular slide so there are two types of streams the first one is input stream input means from where you are getting the input you can take the input so you can take the input from a keyboard that is with the help of i stream the another one from where you can take the input are nothing but the files so whenever you want to take the input from files you have to use the if stream so the input stream you can take the input from i stream and if stream the another type is output stream where the output goes to the screen using os o stream and the output can also go to the file using of stream the same thing i am explaining one by one in the consecutive two slides so what is input stream where you are taking the input either from the keyboard or from the file using what so using i stream and the if stream respectively i stream who takes the input or who is useful to take the input from the keyboard and if stream who is useful while taking the input from the file this slide i am going to explain you about the output stream so output stream who is responsible to give the output so o stream and of stream these are two output streams both are responsible for respectively output to the screen and output to the file so o stream is responsible to give the output to the screen or onto the screen and of stream is responsible to give the output or to write the output onto the file now i am going to explain you these stream classes in again another some different way like the streams which are used to perform the operations who uses keyboard and the screen they are i stream and o stream respectively together the io stream is the library or a header file that you are going to use in the c++ function where c in and c out you are going to use to take the input from a keyboard and to show the output to write the output onto the output screen respectively in the same way in the same manner if i want to perform the same operations on the files then what i have to do so with respect to that whenever i want to use the file at that time 
I have to use the IF stream who performs the input operation and OF stream who performs or who is responsible for the output operation. Together IF stream and OF stream uses the class or the uh, library or a header file is nothing but the F stream. So these are the streams which we are going to use further when we want to use the files or we want to perform the input and output operations on the files. Next slide I am trying to explain you how these streams file input output streams are useful while performing the operations on a file or other way around I can say that while file handling how to use these streams. So now let's start with the files. Let's consider I am having a file with me and I want to perform a read operation on that file. So I will read the data from the file with the help of input stream means if stream. So input stream is helpful if I want to perform the or I want to read the data from the file. So after reading the data from the file, I will send this data for the processing to the program. This program will perform some processing on that data and this processed data I want to write again back onto the files. So to perform or to output this data to write data onto the file I have to use the output stream is nothing but the OF stream. For your information I have again written all the things in this format like if I want to perform input I need to use the IF stream. So input stream is nothing but the IF stream who is responsible for the reading purpose. Whatever the read data is there I will send it to the program who performs some processing on that and processed data is ready for the writing. Now who will take the responsibility to write data back to the file? So the output stream is nothing but the OF stream will take the responsibility to write data onto the file. So this is nothing but the writing data back to the file. So this process is perform repeatedly that is from the disk file read data with the help of input stream send it for the processing process data I want to write with the help of output stream and it writes data back to the disk files again. So this is nothing but the file input and output stream who performs the operations in this particular cycle reading data processing writing data read write read write with the help of input and output stream respectively these are the two major or main functions or the operations that we are going to perform onto the file with the help of file handling with input stream and output stream respectively now next the important part in this introduction is nothing but a file pointer what is file pointer so file pointer is nothing but which is helpful to perform all the operations while handling the file mainly if or when we are going to open a file for any of the purpose for example reading or writing operation a file pointer is maintained who this file pointer maintains the which file on which we are going to perform the operation. So always associated file pointer is used to perform all the operations with respect to that particular file. I will explain all these things in detail with the help of example. So for that you need to be stay tuned with my channel Tech Talks. So now file pointer is useful for the keeping the track of the current position into the file where currently you are performing the operation for that the file pointer is useful because it helps to keep the track 
of the current pointer current position into the file and whenever you are going to perform the reading or writing operation automatically the file pointer is get advanced or incremented we the programmer don't need to operate or we don't need to increment it because automatically it is get advanced to the next position into the file so in this way with the help of file pointer we are going to perform different operations for example reading and writing onto the file in this video session i am explaining you the file opening modes which are the file opening modes we can use in the c++ programming language before that i would like to request you to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet then please do subscribe my channel tech talks please keep the bell ringing because ringing bell will give you the notification about new videos of my channel do share it with your friends give the comments and like my video here we'll start with the file handling first of all what is file handling file handling moving before moving to file handling we must know what are the files so files are nothing but which are used to store the data they are nothing but the storage device they are nothing but where we can store the data file handling provides uh, some mechanism which is useful to perform different operations on it so file is used to store the data for that we need to perform different operations like to open a file to create a file to store data that is writing data on that accessing data is nothing but the reading data from a file and after performing these different operation we can close a file so to perform all these operation file handling is a mechanism which will make us or which will be helpful to perform these different operations to perform these different operation we need to use different streams streams are helping us to perform that all the input and output operations with the help of file pointer we can perform all these operations always to open a file to perform a reading operation to perform a writing operation file pointer is used every time this file pointer is very helpful to perform all these operation because it keeps the track of the current position in the file current position of the cursor in the file so it is very helpful whenever you want to perform the reading or a writing operation we the programmer not need to take care about the advancement of the file pointer because automatically the file pointer is get incremented to the next position in your pro in your file so with the help of this file pointer we can open a file in these different opening modes so this is the main or heart of this video session where i am explain you the modes of opening where we can perform these different types of operations on the file so these are the modes i have already given they are stands for is already explain over here and here i am going to explain you the description about every mode so very first mode is in mode where i am using the in mode whenever i want to perform the read operation this ios scope resolution in is nothing but the syntax of the mode whenever i want to open a file when in i am going to use it it is stands for input mode where input mode is used while reading the file if i want to perform the reading operation on my file reading is nothing but the input operation so that's why i will use the if stream and the object of if stream class is helpful to access this particular mode open function i will use for the opening of a file in which the second parameter second argument where you need to provide a mode 
that time you will be helpful this opening modes the another mode is nothing but the out mode this is nothing but the out stands for output mode output is nothing but the writing on the file for this i will use the of stream class the object of the of stream class only will help us to access the open member function of the of stream class in which the mode i will write ios scope resolution out so for writing purpose i will use this particular mode now here i would like to explain you one more thing like if the file is already existing in this write mode or in this out mode the previous content will get vanish and the file will get open as a blank file and if you are giving the file name which is nothing but the first parameter of your open function file name if that file is not existing then this out mode creates that particular file so this out mode is useful for two purpose that is first one is nothing but if file is not existing then it creates the file if file is already existing but it vanishes all the data and opens a file as a blank or new file so you need to take care always while using this out mode that is if you want to preserve the content of the already existing file then out mode is not suitable for your purpose for that you need to go for the another opening mode now let's come back to the in mode again if your file is already existing then this in mode is able to open that particular file for reading purpose but if your file does not exist then this in mode is not helpful for you because it only opens the file if already exist because if the file is not existing then there will not be any data available which will be helpful for the reading purpose so if in stream in opening mode we are going to use to perform read operation then at that time your file must be existing now let's go forward for the app mode is nothing but the append mode append mode is nothing but here you can preserve the data which is available with your existing file already existing file and the content which currently you want to write down will get append at the end of the file so the uh, drawback of this out mode was like if already existing file you are want to open for a writing purpose or for adding some data this out mode is not suitable for that the app mode is suitable where you can preserve the previous data and you can add the or you can append the extra content at the end of the file this ate mode the sec, uh, fourth mode is ate mode is nothing but the at the end so this is helpful to move to the end of the file whenever you will open a file another mode is nothing but the binary mode if i want to open a binary file for which i will open i will open the file in this binary mode if the file is not present then the file will get open as the ascii file as default truncate mode t r u n c is the mode another mode which is stands for truncate mode which is helpful to discard the content of the existing file when you will open it for writing purpose so these are different opening modes they are helpful whenever you will open your file for these different purpose purposes according to your purpose according to your requirement you need to choose the correct mode that you need to provide as the second parameter to the open function in this current video session i am trying to explain you what the Pref different primitive operations that we can perform on files using C++ syntax. Specifically, I am explaining you how to open or create a file and how to close the file. 
before moving to the concept i would like to request you to subscribe my channel tech talks if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and keep the bell ringing because ringing bell will give you the notification of new videos of my channel do share it with your friends and do not forget to give the comment so now let's start with the concept of the primitive operation on files what are the primitive operations basically the file or the file handling is nothing but the concept where we are going to manage how different operations can be performed on that file so that different operations are nothing but the primitive operations so which are the primitive operations so to create or to open a file it's the first primitive operation after creating or after opening a file you will make use of that file to make that file useful you can you will read that file for a some purpose or after uh, performing reading operation you also can perform the writing operation as well on the file after performing uh, these operations or making use of the file you will close the file as well so what different primitive operations we can perform on a file is nothing but the opening of file reading data from the file writing data to the file as well as close the file so these are the main primitive operations that we can perform on a file so to perform all these operations you need to include io stream and f stream libraries header files into your source code after importing all these things only you can perform your task as per your requirements let's move forward to the next concept is nothing but file pointer what is file pointer and how it is useful while file handling so file pointer is always associated with the file on which you are performing your task so whenever you are going to open a file for any of the purpose like reading or writing then always the file pointer is maintained this file pointer is associated with that particular file on which you want to perform these operations is associated at the time of opening of that file how it will it will be associated that i'll explain when i'll explain the opening of the file now what the use of this file pointer so the file pointer is useful because it keeps the track of the current cursor position in the current file so where is now your cursor available in your file is going to be uh, what we can say is going to be uh, explain or it is going to be uh, hold by the file pointer and whenever you are going to use this file pointer to perform any of the operation like reading or writing it is automatically get advance to the next position we the programmer don't bother about how to increment it because it is incremented automatically internally by the program now let's move forward for the first operation that is nothing but how to open a file before opening a file you must know which are different opening modes of the file if you are not knowing the concept of opening modes i am providing you a shortcut link in this right up corner please go through that video and resume this video again after gaining the knowledge about what are different opening modes of the file so now let's continue with the function or the operation open file now whenever you are going to think about opening of file you must have to finalize a purpose for which purpose you are opening a file that is for reading purpose or for writing purpose because after deciding the purpose only you have to decide which stream you are going to use or you supposed to use because if you want to perform the read operation 
purely read operation only read operation in that case you have to use the if stream class or the object of if stream class is used to access the open member function of the class if stream if purely you want to perform the write operation for that write operation you have to use the of stream class if you want to use the of stream class the object of of stream class is nothing but a file pointer of the of stream class is only useful while opening or while using the member function open while opening a file for writing purpose but if i want to perform both the operation on the same file at a time at that time you will use the class f stream where f stream it's helpful to perform both input operation as well as the output operation that is for reading as well as writing purpose f stream is responsible so by making the object that is nothing but the file pointer of the class f stream it's useful while accessing the member function open and with the help of that function we can open a file so let's move forward where i'll explain you a syntax how to open a file so as i explained previously open is a function or a member function of f stream if stream and of stream according to our purpose that is for reading purpose or for writing purpose i will finalize which stream i have to use after finalizing this this will be the syntax where two parameters we supposed to pass to the open function first one is nothing but the file name with the path or the location at which your file is stored and or you are going to store if you are going to create a file and the another one the second parameter second argument is nothing but the opening mode so this opening mode you must have to know before using this open function so that's why if you don't know this opening mode i have already shared the link of the video opening modes from my channel so here i am considering that all of you are knowing the opening modes of the file which are different file opening modes so now let's move forward with the example how we can open a file so now if i want to open my file in write mode now here i would like to give you one note that whenever you are going to open a file in write mode you have to take care about the existing file if you are trying to open the existing file in write mode then the previous data will get vanish and the file will get open as a blank file if you are opening your file in write mode means what the write mode is useful for the creation of the file so whenever you want to create a file for this you have to use the write mode from different opening modes which are useful in c++ so this write mode will not take care about whatever data is already available in your already existing file so you the programmer has to take care whenever you want to create a file only that time you will use the write mode otherwise different modes are available as far as your requirements are concerned already that things are explained in the file opening modes wala video so now here please uh do continue with the opening file syntax with example that is if i want to open a file in write mode this is the syntax now write is the function which is output function that's why and currently i would just want to perform only the write operation that's why i am using the of stream class i am making the object this is nothing but a file pointer with the out class out a uh, file stream class because i just want to perform the write operation so this file pointer only responsible to access the member function open from the class of stream where the first parameter is nothing but the name of the file with the extension and the second parameter is nothing but the opening mode on which you want to open a file so here i want to open the file in write mode output mode so that's why i am going to use ios scope resolution out so this is nothing but the syntax so this is file pointer file pointer is useful while opening a file here 
you are going to create a file not just only opening a file but you are going to create this particular file now if i want to perform both the operation that is one or more than one operation on the file or for that i can can i open my file in more than one mode so the answer is yes you can combine two or more these values these values means the opening modes by oring them together so the example if you want to perform both reading and writing operation at a time then the syntax will be here both the reading and writing means input mode as well as output mode you have to use for this i am going to use the f stream class not the if stream because if stream is only responsible for input out file stream or if stream is useful only for the output that is for writing but i want to perform both that's why i am going to use f stream class for which the file pointer name is a underscore file this a underscore file file pointer is only responsible to call the member function of the f stream class which is open in which the first parameter is nothing but your file name and the second parameter is nothing but the opening mode as i want to open the file in both the modes here i am using the or operator this operator is useful if i want to open my file in more than one mode here i am using this out mode that is write mode first or before the in mode it means that we are going to create first of all a file then we are opening that for the reading purpose as well means after writing you can read the data simultaneously from a file so in this way you can open or a create a file now let's move forward for the next operation next primitive operation is nothing but the close file how to close the file as far as your operations are performed if you have done with the operations on the file that is if you have done with the reading or writing operation on a file you have to re close the file by releasing all allocated memory it terminates automatically as well but the best practice is to close the file after your use before program termination so the syntax for closing the file is nothing but where again the close function is also a member function of f stream i f stream and o f stream classes so whatever the associated file pointer which is used while opening a file the same associated file pointer is useful to access the member function of the class f stream i f stream and o f stream so this function the syntax is like this and the example is like if the file which i had used for the writing purpose or open for created for the writing purpose that the same file i am going to close now with the help of same file pointer that is nothing but out file dot close so this function is helpful to close the file who releases all the memory allotted for that particular file in your program in your current executing program so in this way you can close the file in this particular video session i am trying to explain you writing on a files write as a primitive operation on a file in c++ before moving to the concept i would like to request you to subscribe my channel tech talks if you have not subscribed yet then please do subscribe my channel keep the bell ringing because ring ringing bell will give you the notification of new videos from my channel now let's start with the primitive operations what do you mean by primitive operations on it first of all the primitive operations are nothing but they are useful to handle the files they are to create a file if the file is not exist then we can create a file then after creating a file we can perform different operations on it or we will make use of that file and at the end we will close the file if the file is already exist we can open a file we will make use of that file 
by performing operations like reading or writing on to the file and after that we will close the file so these are nothing but the primitive operations that we can perform on a file in this video session i am focusing on writing on the file before moving forward i would like to request you to keep in mind that before using all these things you should have to include the io stream and f stream header files in your c++ c uh, c++ source code because without including these files you can't move further you can't perform any of the remaining task let's start with the next important concept from the file handling is nothing but a file pointer file pointer is always maintained with every file which you are going to open to perform any of the task because always the file pointer is helpful to keep the track of the current position of the cursor in the file it keeps the track of the current position of the current file current position of the cursor from the current file which helps us to perform different read operation as well as write operation at which position we can write down from which position we want to read all these things are very easy with the help of file pointer fp we need to keep in mind whenever you are going to perform any of the reading or writing operation that file pointer is automatically get increase with the next position that we the programmer don't bother about the advancement of the file pointer it automatically advances to the next position now let's start with the primitive operation that is writing onto the file here i am trying to explain you that how are we going to perform the writing information to the file here i am explaining you it with the help of example suppose i am having three separate variables who are having three separate values in that say the variable x is having value 10 variable y is having value 25 z is having value 40 if i want to write this data onto the file so what i will do with the help of file pointer i will copy the content of variable into the file after copying the first variable i will move forward means the file pointer will get advance and you can paste here the second variable file pointer will get advance automatically and here you can paste the third variable so in this way data is copied from the variables into the file is nothing but the write operation onto the file but how are we going to perform all these things so for that we are having a special operator with us is nothing but the insertion operator up till now if you have done the programming with c++ language you must knowing this operator insertion operator that you have used with the see out statement in the same way we are going to use the same operator but here only instead of see out we will use the object or a file pointer of the stream of stream or the f stream because of stream is responsible for the outputting of the data onto the files is nothing but the writing data onto the file and f stream can perform both the operations that is input as well as output so that's why object of the of stream or f stream is useful while using this insertion operator instead of see out object so in this way we can do the things here i am going to explain you all these things with the help of example here i am opening my file in out mode what does it mean i am creating this file with the help of file pointer out file this is nothing but the file pointer is created with the stream of stream or with the class of stream class so this is nothing but the object of of stream that we are going to use at as a it as a file pointer and with this file pointer only i can open my file that is the file name is my first parameter a file dot dat and the another parameter is nothing but the opening mode if you want to know about how to open a file if you don't know how to open a file how to create a file so please go through my video where i have already explained the primitive operation open and close file 
another one if you don't know about the opening modes of the file that i have already explained in the video that is file opening modes i am providing you the shortcut link in this right of corners so now here i am assuming that all of you are knowing all these things and now we are trying to write the content onto the file here uh, i have open a file in write mode then whatever you want to write that you are going to accept it from the user so here i am asking you to write down your name and that i am going to accept it from the user and that will get stored into the variable data now i want to write this data whatever the content in very available in this variable data that i am going to try try to write down onto the file so for that as i explained previously this insertion operation operator i am going to use with the file pointer or the object of of stream and with the help of this the out file is the file pointer associated with the a file dot dat so that's why this data whatever i am going to write down will get right on to the a file dot dat so now in this way i have written the name whatever you are going to take as input as your name will get right on to the file after that i am asking to accept the age you are going to accept the age after that i am going to write down this content whatever are accepted by you in the data variable that i am going to write down onto the file with again the insertion operator onto the same file that is a file dot dat here you have to keep in mind that externally i am not going to incrementing the out file file pointer it is get advanced to the next position automatically and at the end after performing all the required task it is best practice that we have to close the file so how to close the file what happens after closing the file is already explained in my previous video where i have already explained the close function you can go through that and it releases the memory and here i am closing the file with whom this out file file pointer is associated means in short i am closing the a file dot dat so in this way we can perform the write operation onto the file so thank you dear friends after that i am uh, trying to explain you where i can explain that the which applications are or can be implemented with the help of this uh, write primitive operation so whenever i want to write the data i can update the content of the file if i am having the file of in which the information of the students are available and if i want to update any name of the any of the student then i can perform the update operation by using the write primitive operation onto the file after that other another thing which i can do with this write operation is nothing but the deletion of the data in this deletion of the data it's divided into two parts that is the searching part is nothing but the reading from the file but once you get the required record which you want to delete from the file for that you are going to delete means what you will make a new file where you will paste all the records except the record which you want to delete so in this way you can perform the delete operation where you can use the write operation onto the file so in this way these are the applications can be implemented with the help of primitive operation write up till now i have covered the different topics like introduction to file handling after that which primitive operations we can perform on a file like open or close the file reading operation on file writing operation on a file now here we are moving forward for the file position pointers in c++ as we we are knowing how to perform read and write operations onto the file that all the operations we can perform effectively if we know the file position pointers in c++ before moving to the concept 
I would like to request you to subscribe my channel Tech Talks. If until today you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel Tech Talks. Keep the bell ringing because ringing bell will give you the notification of new videos of my channel. Do share all the videos with your friends and do not forget to give the comment. Now let's start with the primitive operations. As I explained previously, these different primitive operations we can perform on a file. So if you want details about all these primitive operations, here I am providing you a shortcut link for you. First of all, go through all that primitive operations on file. Then you can continue with this current video. In short, I am explaining you opening of file or if the file is not existing, then the creation of file. After creation of file or opening a file, we will make use of that file by performing reading and writing operation. And after that, after the task which we want to perform is finished, we will close the file. So in this way, these are different primitive operations that we can perform on a file. To perform these different primitive operations, we will need different pointers. Which are those? So while handling a file, that is to perform different primitive operations, we need different pointers. The first one is file pointer. That file pointer is responsible to keep the track of the current position of the cursor in your file. So whenever you are going to open your file to perform any of the operation, this file pointer will help you to track the position of current file pointer or the current position of cursor. In simple language, we can say that current position of cursor. So this file pointer is helpful to keep the track of current position of cursor. So what are different more pointers? So that is file position pointers because these file position pointers are used to set or get the current position of the file pointer. This file pointer is helpful to keep the track but this file position pointers or file position um, we can say that there are different functions they are helpful to set or get the current position of the file pointer for example you are having 100 records in your file and particularly if you want to move to the 50th record so the movement directly to that position required position is done with the help of these different file position pointers or these file position functions so which are those and what is the functionality of that that i am going to explain you in the next slide so let's move to the next slide where the these are the functions which are used for the reposition of the file pointer so which are those we will see one by one so if i want to set the position of the file pointer in the current file what i am explaining you so to set the position here we can say that to seek the position so if i want to set the position to perform different operations like reading or writing onto the current file then which function are used so they are seek g function and seek p function here seeking is nothing but useful to set the position of file pointer and g is nothing but the get is nothing but the input getting is nothing but the input so that's why this function is used while reading so whenever for a reading purpose i want to read from a particular position so i will set the position of file pointer in my current file with the help of sick g function and oppositely if i want to perform writing operation onto the file from a particular position so at that time what i need to do i need to set the position of file pointer in a current file with the help of seek p function so ultimately if i want to set the position of a file pointer for different purposes i need to use the seek function so seek g is for getting operation that is nothing but the input operation and input is nothing but the reading and 
putting means output operation and output is nothing but the write, writing operation so to set the position of file pointer for reading purpose is sig g function and to set the position of file pointer for writing function is nothing but the sig p function so i hope you are getting the difference between sig g and sig p so if i want to set the position i will use seek function another one so if here i can set the position i can get also the position of the file pointer so to get the position here we are having different function so to get the position means it will tell the system will tell us the position of a file pointer in the current open file so to get the position of file pointer for different purposes again for the input function or for the output function or respectively the reading function or the writing function i will use the function tell g and tell p tell g will tell the position of current file current file pointer in the current file or from the current file and g stands for get that is nothing but input is nothing but the reading function so while reading if i want to get the position of a current file pointer then i will use the tell g function and if for the writing purpose i want to know the position of a file pointer in the current open file i will use tell p function so in short i am going to repeat the concept of these functions again for the current or same slide that is nothing but with these functions functions which are used to reposition the pointer from which we can set the position of pointer or we can get the position of the file pointer from the current file for setting we can think about the reading operation or the writing operation for the reading operation we will use sig g function for the writing operation we will use sig p function both are useful to set the position of file pointer if i want to get the position for reading as well as writing operation i will use tell g and tell p function respectively which will tell us the position of a file pointer in current file let's move forward for the functions one by one now let's start with the set position pointers here i have used some color code which will explain you the same thing again which i have explained in the last slide so here sig is nothing but set position of file pointer g will stand for the input function or the input functionality is nothing but the reading and if it is reading here we will use the i stream class which is nothing but the input stream class other way around the another function is sig p function is nothing but the sig put function here sig is nothing but again the set position pointer p stands for the output functionality that is nothing but the writing and it will be from the output stream class o stream class because this is the put function writing function or the output function so here again i am trying to explain you the same thing that is seeking is nothing but the setting the position of pointer for reading that is sig g function and writing that is sig p function now after this we will go forward for the syntax of these functions sig g and sig p function so always sig g and sig p are the functions for the stream classes i stream and o stream classes so file object is only responsible to access these functions for both the functions we will require two parameters the first parameter is nothing but the offset is nothing but the number of bytes relative to the direction and the another parameter is nothing but the direction so direction there are three total direction they are nothing but the beginning which will will start from the beginning of the stream this is the default direction if i will not use direction 
parameter then by default the writing or reading operation whenever you are going to use the sigg or sigp respectively it will start automatically by default from the beginning if you will skip this parameter the second direction is the current position so it is related to the current position and last one is the end from the end it will start the counting the number of bytes in the offset whatever you have mentioned in the offset it will count that number of bytes from the either beginning from the current position of the per cursor or from the end of the file we will see the examples for the same so for the sig g function that is for the reading purpose i have given five different examples in these first two examples i have skipped the second parameter if i am skipping the second parameter it means that by default it will start from the beginning in the both the examples here you can see that the direction is nothing but the beginning so this function is repositions the file get pointer why i am writing this get pointer because this is nothing but the sig g function so this i am going to perform for the reading purpose so file get pointer to the beginning of the file because the offset is nothing but again zero so from the zeroth byte from the beginning it will reposition the file pointer here i am giving giving the first parameter as n so i am set i am seeking or setting the position of file pointer to the nth position from the beginning okay here nth position because i am i have given the offset as n let's see the next example sig g and ios beginning here ios beginning it stands for it will start from the beginning but it will from the nth position from the beginning now you can see this example and this example both are same because here if i am skipping the direction it will take automatically beginning and here i am giving that the second parameter as beginning itself so both the functions will work similarly now let's go forward for the fourth example that is mth position mth byte from the end of the file so this sig g function will set the or reposition the file pointer to the mth position from end of the file so it will go in reverse direction from end to the mth position because here i have given the mth byte after that if i am giving the zeroth byte that is from the end of the file zeroth byte is nothing but ultimately the end of the file so last byte of the file so it repositions the file get pointer to end of the file because end of the file is nothing but the zeroth byte from the end so in this way i can use these different combinations to set the position of pointer for the reading purpose now let's go forward for the next example that is for the sig b that is put function for the writing purpose all the same examples only the difference is that instead of sig g i have used sig p over here they are used for the writing purpose you can pause this video and you can see the example one by one okay so now let's move forward for the next function is nothing but the tell function so as i explained previously this tell function will tells the location or the position of a pointer for reading as well as writing purpose the same thing i have used the color code over here that is tell is nothing but tells the position of pointer or the location of pointer so for g g stands for the get that is nothing but the input that is nothing but the reading purpose and it is from the i stream class because this is the input so it tells the position of file pointer while performing the input operation and this tell p is the function which will tells the position of file pointer while putting operation or output operation so tell is 
tells location of pointer p is for the put is nothing but the writing purpose and this put is nothing but the writing is nothing but the output operation that's why it belongs to the o stream class so i hope you must be able to understand the tell g and tell p functions and here in the tell g and tell p function there is no any parameter is available because for setting we need to provide where we want to set the pointer but here tell g and tell p are the functions used to get the position of pointers or the system will tells us the position of pointer so what it will return it returns the position of pointer so this is the main difference that is for setting the position we need to provide the position at which we want to set the position of file pointer but here in tell functions we are getting the position of pointer from the system so that's why system will return the value from the function that value is nothing but the position of the pointer in terms of integers so how we are going to represent that so this is the syntax that is integer variable we need to write down where this variable will collect the value of the position of the pointer again the same thing this tell g tell p both the functions are accessible by the object file object or a file pointer both functions are accessible by only the file pointer who will tells the position while g is for while reading and p is for while writing so both the function will return the position of current file pointer i have not given any example over here whenever you will write down a program here only it tells the position of current a uh, cursor position from the current file so thank you dear friends for listening and watching my video if you like the video please do not forget to give the comment here i am providing you the subscription link please subscribe my channel along with this i am providing you the shortcut link for the next video from this series and for the same series i am providing you the playlist please go through all these videos and stay tuned with tech talks thank you friends